Your BP is 136 by 86. The doctor says it's a little high, but you're okay for now. Google says you have stage 1 hypertension. You are on the edge, my friend. Your gym buddy says, bro, mine is 150 all the time and I feel perfectly fine. Nothing to worry. So now you're thinking, wait, am I fine, borderline or broken? So what really is normal blood pressure? And is it just about that magic number? Or is there more to the story? Namaste and welcome to Edgy Cardio Wise. I am Dr. Ameya Amonkar and in this hypertension series, we are going to decode the truths, the myths and the silent damage of high blood pressure in a way that actually makes sense. Today we are tackling one of the most misunderstood questions. What is normal blood pressure and why that number alone can be misleading? So let's start with the official numbers, the blood pressure guidelines. Now, if you already feel overwhelmed looking at all these ranges and categories, don't worry. I've got you. I'm going to make it simple and practical without putting you to sleep. According to the current Indian hypertension guidelines, your optimal blood pressure should be less than 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury. Now, if your blood pressure is between 120 to 129 systolic and 80 to 84 diastolic, it is still normal. Now, high normal or pre-hypertension is when your BP is between 130 to 139 systolic and 85 to 89 diastolic. BP between 140 to 159 systolic and 90 to 99 diastolic is stage 1 hypertension. And uh, stage 2 hypertension is when the systolic blood pressure goes above 160 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic above 100 millimeters of mercury. So technically, if your BP is 138 by 88, it's not yet hypertension but it's in the high normal or pre-hypertensive zone. And it's waving a little yellow flag that says, hey, keep an eye on me before I turn red. So now that's the Indian guideline. I would call it practical, no nonsense, and it's widely followed by us. But if you check the American guidelines, they raise the stakes even further. According to the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association, even a blood pressure of more than 130 by 80 counts as stage one hypertension. And they recommend early lifestyle changes and sometimes even medications at this level. So what's going on here? Who should you believe? The Indians, the Americans or the European guidelines? Now here's the thing. Guidelines are guidelines. They are not godlines. They are not the gospel truth. They are meant to help doctors and health systems make broad decisions. But they don't know you. Your personal ideal BP may be different. Now let's understand how. I recently watched this uh, Hindi film, Sitare Zameen Par. There's a beautiful line in that that stayed with me. Sabka apna apna normal hota hai. Now everyone has their own version of normal. And you know what? This applies to blood pressure as well. Imagine if all shoe companies only made a single size, size 9. Sure, it would fit a lot of people, but many would be limping, silently hurting. Now that's exactly what happens when we treat blood pressure like it has only one magic number. In reality, your ideal BP depends on your age, your health and your overall risk. Now, let me explain what I mean. Let's compare two individuals here. Mr. Raj, he's 65. He's a type 2 diabetic smoker with a BP of 134 by 84. And you have Miss Nidhi. She's 34, slightly overweight, no comorbidities, but with a BP of 134.84. So, same reading, 134.84, but the meaning is worlds apart. For Mr. Raj, that BP is already a threat to his brain, his heart, his kidneys. He's like a house with small cracks in the foundation and a monsoon is coming. If we ignore it, the damage will show up, maybe not today, but soon. He needs medications, no doubt about it, and close follow-up. But Miss Nidhi, she's young, active, no underlying disease. For her, the same BP might just be a sign to reduce salt, shed a few kilos, and keep tracking. No meds, no panic just awareness. So this is what we call risk-based targeting. Not treating numbers, but treating people. That is why in my clinic, I don't just ask, what's your BP? I ask, who are you behind that blood pressure? Because that's where the truth lies. So the next time someone says, Mera BP to 140-90 rehta hai, kuch nahi hota. Just smile and say, sabka apna apna normal hota hai. But let's make sure your normal isn't quietly causing damage. Most people think, I'm safe until my BP hits 140 over 90. That's the danger zone, right? Wrong. Now, this is from the famous Framingham Heart Study, now one of the longest and most respected studies in heart health. If you look closely, the risk starts rising from 115 systolic over 75 diastolic. Yes, that early. 
and with every 20 mm rise in systolic blood pressure there is double the risk of a heart attack a stroke and kidney failure the risk doesn't suddenly appear at 140 it builds silently over time now think of this uh, not as a cliff but a slippery slope you are not fine and suddenly you are sick you are sliding the whole time in fact a study published in the lancet focused on indian adults it showed something even more striking now in people in diabetes early vascular damage was seen even at 125 by 80 now that's lower than what many consider pre hypertension so if you are a diabetic or have high cholesterol the danger might already be creeping in even if you feel completely fine it's like rust on a pipe you don't hear it you don't see it until one day it bursts high blood pressure works the same way the pressure wears your arteries down drip by drip this is why your bp goals need to match your risk and not your neighbor's bp number as a cardiologist i've seen quite a few people walk in with a heart attack whose bp was only 140 90 for years they were told it's just a little high but for them that little was lethal because many of them had other risk factors like say diabetes high cholesterol or a family history of heart disease so the numbers have to be interpreted in the context of your overall risk because that is what we want to reduce your risk now let's look at the other end of the spectrum now many patients come to me worried doctor mera bp 98 by 62 aaya hai bahut low to nahi hai aur they'll say uh, my mom's bp is 90 by 60 should we take her to an emergency now let's clear the confusion here now here's the truth if your blood pressure is low but you're feeling perfectly fine that's just your normal no need to panic no treatment needed in fact low bp without symptoms is often seen in young adults athletes or those with a naturally healthy vascular system but on the other hand if you have low bp with symptoms like uh, you're feeling dizzy all the time when you stand up you're tired by noon you have a uh, brain fog or frequent blackouts this is hypotension and that's when we investigate now this kind of hypotension uh, can be uh, because of over medications dehydration uh, it could be heart rhythm issues or even nervous system problems so it's not just about the number it's about how your body feels at that number what's the core message here your goal isn't to have the lowest bp it's to have a bp that keeps your brain sharp your heart happy and your energy steady what we are really looking for is adequate perfusion meaning is your blood pressure high enough to supply oxygen and nutrients to your brain heart and kidneys so low bp isn't always good and high bp isn't always obvious the context is everything by now you have seen that there's no one size fits all when it comes to blood pressure so what's your goal now if you check any of these boxes your bp target might be stricter than you think first is age over 60 second is if you have diabetes third is if you have chronic kidney disease fourth had past heart attack a bypass surgery or stents fifth have a strong family history of heart disease and finally you have a sedentary lifestyle or belly fat for these patients even the bp of 130 by 85 might already mean trouble in those with more ticks uh, which means that there is a greater risk ideal bp may be as low as 125 by 75 to protect the heart kidneys and the brain but if you are young healthy active and none of these risks apply a slightly elevated bp may not need medications right away it still means action though not inaction start tracking your blood pressure eat better move more sleep well because waiting till it crosses 140 by 90 is like fixing your roof during a storm so how to know your bp goal ask your doctor what's my ideal bp based on my risk and not just is this number okay in my practice we personalize bp targets based on your 10 year risk of a heart attack and a stroke that's what we call risk based targeting and it saves lives as i said before your bp goal should match your risk not someone else's reading so maybe you're still thinking okay doc i get it but which bp reading should i trust at the clinic it's high at home it's normal and every machine gives me a different number sounds familiar you're not alone bp can swing based on stress posture timing and who's checking it and yes i know many of you are convinced that your digital bp monitor was a waste of money but the problem may not be in the machine it's how probably you are using it in our next video we are going to show you exactly how bp readings can fool you what time and techniques to follow and how to make your home bp monitor your best health ally 
not a source of confusion so hit that subscribe button turn on the bell icon and share this with someone who's told you mera bp to normal hi rehta hai most of the time you might just be helping them catch the silent damage before it's too late goodbye see you in the next one